Hey, what up, babes? Welcome back. It's Barb City, where it be hella mother effing litty. Let's get into it. Before we do, as always, remember when in doubt, pull your mother effing blood out. Thank you to everybody that continues to follow us on all platforms. You are very much appreciated. I love you guys so much for that. And let's go on ahead and get into our first topic, which is going to be Katy Perry. Katy Perry is going to receive the Michael Jackson Video Vanguard Award this year at the 2024 VMAs. And I'm not going to lie. I am totally here for it. I do feel like she deserves it. And I know a lot of you guys were upset last year when she lost and Shakira won. So let me know how you guys are feeling now that you guys know that she is going to receive the award this year. Anyway, Chart Data tweeted, Katy Perry will receive the Video Vanguard Award at this year's VMA. So congratulations to Katy Perry on that. And let's go on ahead and move forward into Kim Kardashian. So it looks like Kim felt like you guys may need some new Beats headphones to go with your skims, you guys. As you guys can see here, she posted these photos to her Instagram and she said Beats X Kim available now at Apple and Amazon. So I don't know, maybe she feels the vibe of you guys laying in y'all's bed and y'all skims and y'all want some headphones to match. But let me know if you guys are going to be in support of it or do you guys feel like this was a huge waste of time and energy? Let's move forward into Young Miami. So Young Miami is being called out, you guys. People feel like she is still messing with Diddy behind the scenes. They feel like she may be still dipping into that Young Allowance. And that's possibly why Carisha Please has returned, okay? And the reason why people are feeling like this is because of that got dang shark tooth necklace okay as y'all can see here it says carisha is wearing that necklace cassie was wearing that necklace j-lo also used to wear that necklace and emphasized removing it in her diddy breakup song can't tell me carisha is not still in cahoots with that man i'm sorry that's his signature piece with them ladies interview was cap as f update kim had a similar necklace too so as you guys can see right there in the picture um carisha is wearing a shark tooth necklace right well cassie right here with the same necklace j-lo with the same necklace and even kim porter with the same necklace so i'm gonna be honest you guys in my opinion I do feel like Diddy is trying to tell the world, like, I'm here, but I'm not here, if that makes sense. Now, Carisha's stylist did post some photos of Shark Tooth to their Instagram, and they also said, y'all keep lying on this girl for no reason. Y'all want something on her so bad. It's no tea. It's nothing. Y'all fake tea is poor pee stop the lies the fake narratives stop messing with this girl now i know they were probably trying to make things better for her but you guys they honestly made things worse so people started commenting things like they think we're dumb and blind the ones he posted don't look like the one young miami is wearing okay and it doesn't you guys it was two total or actually three totally different shark tooth necklaces okay another person said we know exactly what the f we see so the stylist can go on with that bs he just swinging at the air the necklace being designer slash staple piece blah 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 still does not negate what we all saw with our own eyes all three of these women that have been linked to diddy have worn it so it looks like a diddy statement piece and again i definitely agree with that one more comment saying the crazy thing is carisha probably doesn't even know y'all know she loves gifts and money she probably 
doesn't do no research into it lol i bet she's looking now and feeling froggy so i don't know does carisha know does she not know we're not gonna sit here and act like she didn't tell diddy's ex that if diddy wanted to he would have her on her doing this and that to carisha like we all remember that so for her to sit here and say that she knows absolutely nothing of the things that diddy is being accused of is a lie because she used it as a blow to another person during an argument but let me know what you guys feel about that and let's move forward into sexy red and Nicki minaj like we gotta give sexy red her mother effing flowers child we really do and y'all know barb city never has a problem with giving a b her mother effing flowers out just 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 give a bitch her, her roses though i mean you know I love just you, give man. a bitch her roses like you know what i'm saying i did okay it takes a real one to sit in front of someone's ops and still bring them up in a positive light check this out nikki though she she last in the game for a good amount of years so i want to still like be in the game some just be fading off be yeah, for real yeah they be fading off but they just be put up like mm -hmm. not into it for real mm -hmm. but if you got some good music you can still chill mm -hmm. and still be talked about Okay, so first things first, I respect Sexy Red for this because, again, she said it right in front of Nikki's ox, right? Not just that, but Sexy Red speaking on Nicki Minaj's longevity out of all the other women is tense for me, baby. It's tense for me because everybody wants to compare themselves to Nicki Minaj, but none of the girls have had longevity like Nicki Minaj has, okay? So I don't know, I'm here for Sexy Red saying that she wants that same type of longevity like Nicki Minaj because I don't see it happening for a lot of the girls. But again, I'm giving Sexy Red her tens on that. Let me know what you guys feel about it. But before we move forward, I do wanna read some comments on that. Hold on, hold on. First one saying, I love how sexy kept it real. Y'all be hating on Nikki. She can be cocky if she wants. She put in that work. Hashtag queen. Sexy getting up there with ops and mentioning her is the realest. Sexy truly the realest in the game. Three more comments saying they didn't like that. Look at their faces. Lotto being right there makes this clip funny as hell. And just one more comment. Lotto and Flo Millie was gagged because both are Nikki's biggest haters. So again, um, Sexy got tens from me. Okay, let's move forward, you guys, into this topic that people were having um, about the rap girls that could last. Like, basically, the question was, what rap girl do you think would last and be here in the next 10 years right and almost every last one of the comment comments were saying doja cat so i want to give you guys my opinion on that hold on let me bring it up so the tweet said which female rapper do you see lasting in the next 10 years be honest and they had JT, Doja Cat, Ice Spice, Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, Lotto, Glorilla, and Sexy Red. And as y'all can see here, the comments were saying things like, Doja is the only one I could see lasting for 10 years. No shade. Only Doja. I'm sorry, but Doja. Doja Cat for sure. Doja for sure obviously it's doja i doubt any of them will be able to have a hit 10 years from now it ain't no shade but none doja maybe but i see her quitting the rest will just will just follow on social media while they do features here and there and just one more comment saying doja and i guarantee you i'm right so my opinion on that you guys i agree with the comments okay um i spice 10 years from now yeah mother effing right glorilla 10 years from now maybe like 
five years from now, but I don't see her going strong for 10 years straight. Um, Sexy Red, I don't know, you guys. I don't know. I don't think that her type of music and things are really going to last that long, to be quite honest. Lotto has already been out 10 years, okay? And she's still performing in auditoriums. And I Spice is richer than her. Uh, Botsy B is self-explanatory. She's lazy. So, no, I don't see her being here in 10 years. She's also too afraid to put music out at the end of the day. JT is extremely talented. Um, I do see her being here in 10 years, just not being as big as Doja Cat, okay? There's this thing that I would like to get into. So Doja Cat has literally studied Nicki Minaj, not just her flow, her style, and her come up, but she has literally studied Nicki Minaj's artistry. So as far as someone being able to have longevity like Nicki Minaj, I do feel like it would be Doja Cat. Um, as far as all the other girls, they are too busy trying to shade Nicki Minaj instead of learning from her and figuring out how she was able to last this long in the industry that normally female rappers get pushed out of, okay? Now, that is my opinion on all of that. Let me know what you guys feel about it. And let's add some mother effing razzle dazzle to this video before we get up out of here and get into none other than Nicki Minaj herself. Y'all already know I got to read this stat. Okay. I don't have a list of stats for you guys tonight, but I do have one that is very important that is definitely going to chop the buns of some duds. So. Um, as you guys can see, it says Nicki Minaj has now sold over 300 million total song units in the U.S. across all credits. She is the best-selling female rapper of all time. Now, a lot of you guys used to like to say that Nicki Minaj can't sell in the U.S. and blah, 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 because she was the only um, worldwide female rapper that was known so you guys would just say anything at all to put her down so this is um what's the word i'm looking for oh this is proof and evidence right here that you guys are clearly wrong and i'm gonna read it one more time Nicki minaj has now sold over 300 million total song units in the u.s across all credits she is the best selling female rapper of all time so congratulations to the queen on that let me know what you guys feel about all those topics thank you for enjoying barb city mother effing blooper rose and until next time i love you guys so much thanks